Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will be checking about knowledge in crew AI. Like knowledge in crew AI is nothing but like a rag only. Where if you see like knowledge in crew AI is a powerful system that allows AI agents to access and utilize external information which they are not aware of. So using knowledge, we can pass some kind of external information to our agents in crew AI so that they can utilize that and provide the results accordingly. So that is how the knowledge is used in crew AI. So we are just going to build a small POC here and what we are going to build here is so first user asks a question and then we'll call one crew and that crew will decide whether it's related to the union budget or something else. If it is related to the union budget, I mean if the query is related to union budget, it returns the keyword union and if the query is not related to union budget, it returns the keyword NA. We are implementing this using task output parsers. Using Pydantic, we can get the response from a specific task uh, as per the variables in the Pydantic class, which I have already explained in the tasks tutorial, but I'll again show you. So the point here is based on the query, our crew decides whether, whether it's a union budget related query or not. If it's a union budget related query, then it uses the knowledge which we are providing externally from PDF documentation. If it is not related to union query and it returns the output from the Google search. If it's a union budget related query, it, you, it prints out the information from the document or from the knowledge which we have provided. So let's go ahead and see that. So if you see, I created a flow project here. If we know that to create a flow project, we have to run this command in the terminal crew AI create flow and the name of the project. So it created something like this. And now inside SRC and the project name, there are crews tools and the main.py file. So inside the main.py file only we can we write the code to control the flow and everything. And inside crews we can build multiple crews. So here I have three crews. So if you see the first crew, in this crew we have one agent and this agent will just classify whether the query is related to union budget or not. So if you see here inside this crew.py file we have one agent and one task and this task has an argument called output pydantic which means please re uh, that means we are telling this task to respond in the pydantic way if you want to know more details about the pydantic handle you can watch my tasks tutorial which i have already uploaded so whenever we call this true we have to access the response from this task using this particular variable that's it if you see i have sh sh did the same here see i am just calling this particular crew and then I am assigning it to query type and whenever I want to access the value, see I am accessing like this union budget flag and that's what we are doing here union budget flag that's it. So this is the first group which just segregates or whether the query is related to the union budget or not that's it. So based on that again we have another cruise here and in these crews the first crew is a budget related crew and the second crew is a internet search crew if you see here in the, let's first check the internet search crew and it has a config inside which we have agent so it just uses the internet search based on the query being provided see if you see we are passing the query based on that it just has the internet and if you see the crew has nothing it's just a simple plane and we are just passing this tool and for the tool here is the surfer dev tool so it uses the google search that's it and so this is, this is simple and the major intention is we have to search this budget response crew. So we have an agent here. So it, it, if you see Indian Union Budget Expert provide accurate details and answers queries related to the Indian budget based on the preloaded knowledge we said. So we have built an agent like this and we have a task. So come, so this task will respond based on the query we pass. Now if you go and check into this crew.py file, we have created an external knowledge here. So I created a class and it inherits the base knowledge class and why it has to inherit the base knowledge class is because it, this has two abstract methods load and load content and add add both so if you come here and check those in our library inside crew inside crew ai knowledge source See this particular uh, best knowledge source, which it has two abstract methods load content and add. So, load content it used to we have to create this method, these two methods in our class, and then this is to load the content from a PDF file or something, and this is to add it. And we have a save method, save document method, which we have to use it to save this, the data which we have. 
so let's check what we are doing here so now if you come to this so we have inherited those two methods as well load content inside which we are just reading the pdf using pdf reader from uh, this particular module by pdf2 module you know if if you want to add any module to this uh, crew ai project then you have to use uv add and the module name it will add to this crew ai i mean in case if you want to add any external module and if you see i'm just reading the content and i'm just uh, storing the content in a variable called content that's it so inside this add method we are calling that load content method which we have above so now the output is stored inside this content and here we are just checking those content and creating a metadata because the save document method takes uh, metadata as an argument if you see here and if you come to uh, here see this save document takes metadata as an argument so it needs the metadata that's why we have created the metadata as well here that's it and then we are calling the save document method so the external knowledge will be saved that's it so we are calling that particular uh, class which we have created here that's it and it takes the file path alone as an argument if you see this is how we create a knowledge class in crew ai these two methods are mandatory load content and add to save the knowledge we have to use an inbuilt method to save the documents we have to use an inbuilt method that's it so this is how we create the knowledge now we have created the knowledge class and that class needs to be passed to the agent if you see here while creating an agent we are saying knowledge sources equal to union data union data is nothing but an object to this class which we have created and you know what we have done in the class just reading the pdf and storing the knowledge that's it so now this particular crew is nothing but used to respond to the queries related to the union budget only that's it so i have an agent here i have a task here i mean to the agent we are passing the external knowledge that's it and the crew and everything is same so now let's go to the main.py file where we we wrote all the control flow and everything if you see here the code starts with the start here and if we are saying first we are asking you to greet the user then we, we are listening to this greet customer method which is the first method and inside this method we are asking we are taking the input of the query from the terminal and assigning it to a state variable you know state and i have explained in the flows if you see i mean state is nothing but we have a class here inside which we'll have the variables and the values are assigned to those variables intermediately and used again whenever we want so the query is being assigned to that now and whenever you want to use the query you can use it that's it so we created the query here inside this class and we are inheriting that uh, state class and we are using that query whenever you want we just assign it and we'll use it for that purpose if you see wherever we want we have used that that's it so this is the second method which gets triggered it is listening to the first method and we have the third method trigger close this is where we are triggering all the cruise and it is listening to the second method which is this one that's it so what are we doing in this method so we are first triggering the first crew we know the first crew will just categorize whether the query related to union or or not that's it that's what this particular thing does that's what this task is doing right it classify the result as union or na that's it so now now it will return something the query type so now if you see the return type of this uh, as we already discussed the return type of this is i mean if you see the task which uh, so the task is a pydantic output right so we have to access the pydantic output only so that's what we are doing so one so, so we are assigning it to the query type which is a state variable and wherever you want we have to access using the pydantic variable only that's what we, that's what we have declared here as well see if you see here union budget flag and we are passing that to here the class name that's it so whatever we are checking in case if the return type is union then call this crew in case if the union type is na so in case if the return type is na then call this crew and in this crew it will just uh, use the knowledge in this crew uh, it will just use the tool uh, called internet search tool serper dev tool and returns the response based on the, in, uh, the result which we got from the internet so let's run it so i have triggered it now it should greet first with some message if you see hey there awesome customer welcome we are absolutely thrilled to have here your smile is like sunshine and it, it is greeting something and it is please feel to ask me anything related to union budget now we let me ask a question related to union budget so let's go to the budget document first if you see here let's ask this question what are the main tax proposals in finance bill 
so i have asked what are the main tax proposals in finance bill so it has categorized it as a union so it will use the knowledge now so it it, it, it triggered that particular crew and that particular agent now we'll get the response if you see the uh, here it has something like capital gain startup indirect taxes cgst and all so we should get the response also like that see indirect taxes startups and all this so it has used that external knowledge and it has provided us the response so now let's trigger the uh, flow again and now let's ask some other different question and now it has to use the internet so first it has to greet us and then it is asking to ask a question so i am asking what is the cricket score today it is not union budget related so now the flow should direct it to the internet search crew and see if you see if you see it has written if you see the union budget flag is na because it's a not union budget related question and if you see it is using the internet search expert and it has written the response as per the internet search that's it see west indies and south africa versus india that's it so this is how we create the knowledge or external knowledge and give it to our agent so that they can access the external knowledge and respond to our queries that's what is being done here just one variable this one and then a class which needs two methods for sure load content and add because these are the abstract class from this inherited class which we have seen it that's it thank you so much for watching